hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is the face stage so today i'll be teaching you how to sew this bubble gun that is snatched at the waist and has slipped at the front the neck part and the down part if this is what you like to watch stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel thank you So in this tutorial, I'll be needing three years of dirtiest material and I need my pin to secure it because this is a slicky material. So I went ahead to fold my material into two because I'll be cutting the front, the back part first. So I went ahead to draw a line at the edge. That would be my starting point. So now I'm marking my neck depth. I'll be using three and a half inch. Then the net the length for the back will be one and a half inch. You can go in by you can go down by one inch. It depends on what you have want. I'll just connect. I'll just connect the line with a curve. I'm using a freehand method here. After connecting my neck, I'll divide my shoulder measurement by two. Fifteen divided by two will give me seven and a half. I'll mark seven and a half. After marking seven and a half from where my shoulder stopped from, I'll mark at 15 inches. This 15 inches will, start, will stand as my length for my hand because I'll be hemming the hand part. You can go ahead to, to stitch yours if you want. But in this dress, I later stitch mine at the end of the video. So I'll go ahead and mark 15 inches. After marking 15 inches, I'll... I'll connect just to do a little bit shoulder slant. I'll just connect to do a little bit shoulder slant. After connecting my shoulder slant, I'll go ahead and mark my hand opening. This is where my hand will come out from. I'll be using 9 inches. After marking my hand opening, I'll go ahead and mark my shoulder to waist, which I have 15 inches. I'll mark 15 inch and connect a straight line. After connecting a straight line, I'll go ahead and mark my hip measurements. For this bubble gun, you know, whenever you're making a bubble gun, you always use your hip measurements, divide by four, then you add the inches you want, depending on how free you want it to be. For my, I divide my hip measurements by four, then I add four inches allowance. So I'll mark my hip measurements from the start of my waist straight down. That's what I'll be using for my booboo -boo dress i just add only four inches if you want it more free you can add five or six inches but just remember that anytime you are marking a booboo -boo dress always use your hip measurements the only time you can use a your bust measurement is when your bust is bigger than your hip so after marking my hip measurement at my waistline i just connect my hand to it then i'll mark it straight down so I'll just mark straight down, connect my hand to where my hip measurement end, then I'll mark straight down. I'm just cross-checking the lines. So I'll just mark it to the end of the dress.
so after connecting it i'll go ahead and code then i'll place it on my front pattern my front pattern where i was supposed to fold it inward it was not recording but this is what i did there i fold it in like as if i want to cut a shirt you know the front part of our shirt will always fold in two inches or one and a half inch inward that's for our button allowance that's why that is what i did for my front that is what i did for my front pattern so i just cut out my back then i placed it on top my front i already ironed i already ironed the two inch inward i'll just go ahead and place my back pattern on my front pattern then i'll go up by three inches that's the length i'll be using for my neck then i'll mark three inches for my neck for my neck depth After marking my net date, I'll go ahead and pin both the front and the back together. So I'll pin it together, then I'll cut out the excess. You just have to pin it so it's not, it's not moving. You know, this material, depending on the material you're using, this is a dotted material. It's, it's not only staying in one place. So I'll pin it, then I'll just cut out the excess. So after cutting out the edges, I'll go ahead and place my front pattern. I'll place it to mark out my the opening. If you check the dress, there's the opening at the top. So I'll go ahead and mark out where I want my opening to be. Then I'll mark out where I want my slit to start from. So I'll just arrange it very well. So from my neck, I want from my shoulder sorry i want my my slit to start from 33 inches so i'll just adjust it i mark 33 inches straight i'll just mark 33 inches then i'll connect it that's where my slit will start from you always need to measure where your slit will start from so i'll go up and mark where my slits at the neck part to start from i'll be using four inch four inch is okay or three inches okay for this slit at the neck so i'll go ahead and mark the four inch after marking it i'll go ahead and open this slit So after opening my slit, it's time for me to turn the neck. I'll be using a material to turn the neck. You can use bias if you want. So I'll just place it on top and go to my machine and sew it. Then I will iron it. So this is what it looks like after ironing it. I'm just giving it a neat finishing at the top. So after that, I'll place the both the front together. This you know I open the slit, then I turn the tunic. So I'll place it together. Then 
I'll take it to my machine and ma I'm I'm so from where my four inches top to where my slit start from. I'll sew it straight down. I'll just mark it where my slit start from. So I'll mark four inch, then I'll go down and mark my thirty three inches. That's where my slit start from. So I'll just adjust it very well and mark my thirty three inches. Then I'll take it to my machine and sew from where my four inches stop to where my thirty three inches starts. So after sewing, this is what it looks like. So I'll just open it into two and put it into two and use my hemming gum to hem it together. I'll just hem the opening, that opening at the front. So I'm going to iron it first, then I'll hem it. It's always good for you to iron it first to know to give it a very good finishing. After ironing, then you start hemming it with your hemming gum this place this front part is always good to aim it you can also this front part if you sew it it will not be really that nice it will not give that that style at the front so it's just good for you to aim it inward After I mean it, this is what it looks like. You can see it's already giving that neat finishing on the front. And this is our slit at the front. Look how fine it is. So the next step is to take both the front and back. I will join it together. I will join the shoulder together. After joining the shoulder together, then I will go ahead and aim the mouth of my hand. So I'm just going to pin it. Then I will take it to my machine and sew. So after sewing it, this is what it looks like. So I will just flip it over and fold my hand inward After I mean my hand, the next step is to flip it over to the wrong part, then place it together. I'll just spin it on my table before taking it to the machine. This to hold it very well. But if you can sew it like that, it's fine. So I'll just hold it and sew straight down. I went ahead to cut out my band. I cut out 34 inches. It's okay. Then I cut out 2 inches on fold. So the next part is to turn it to the wrong part and mark my waist measurement. So I'll be marking my waist measurement straight down. So I'll mark my waist measurement, then I'll connect it with the straight ruler. So I'll just mark the length of my waist, which is 15 inches. I'll mark it on both sides and connect it to the straight ruler. After doing it, I'll divide my waist measurement by four and mark it on both sides, both from the starting of that slit at the front. I'll mark seven inches on both sides. Then I'll connect. After connecting, I'll pin my pan, my band together to it and take it to the machine and sew. so that's all for this tutorial thank you for watching this far please guys don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel see you in my next class this is what it looks like you see the side that we saw at the front this is what it looks like bye see you in my next class